Hello, it's Miss Lindy again. I'm going to now show you how to cut this recipe in half. I'm going to show you two strategies. The first strategy I'm going to show you is an area model. So I want us to cut, and cut this one half cup of butter into half. So what we could do is one half times one half. I'm going to show this using an area model. So what you need to do is make your area model, which is a square or a rectangle, and you're going to show both fractions on this one model. So to show one half, I'm going to cut this in half and shade in one. My numerator said there is only one. Now I'm going to make this same fraction one half on the same area model, turning it this way. So if this was blank, I would cut it in half again. And now I'm going to shade it in a different color so it's easier for us to see. Shade in one half of this. So the common area that shaded in both colors, the black and the highlighter, is one and there are t a total number of one, two, three, four. So my denominator would be four. One times one half times one half equals one fourth. So when I remake this recipe and cut it in half, I now need one fourth cups of butter. That would be the same for this one because we're, we would multiply one half times one half and we would get the same answer, one fourth. So also one fourth cups of sugar. Using the area model, we're now going to multiply one fourth cups of brown sugar by one half because we want to half the recipe. I'm going to make the area one fourth times one half. For total, one shaded in times one half. So we're going to turn our area model this way, cut it in half, and shade in one. The common area that is shaded is one, and there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is our denominator. So one fourth times one half equals one eighth. So we're gonna change this to one eighth cups of brown sugar. Next, we're gonna multiply two holes by one half. So we're going to make two area models. They're both shaded in fully. One, two, times one half. So we're going to turn our area model this way, cut it in half, cut it in half, and shade in. So I can see that we have two halves. And I know if we put these two halves together, we would have one whole. So we're going to change this two teaspoons to one teaspoon.
Now we're going to multiply one whole egg by, an, by a half. Make your array one times one half. So our whole ar array is shaded. We're going to turn it, cut it in half, and shade in one. common shaded area is 1, the denominator is 1, 2. 1 times 1 half is 1 half. So we're going to use half of an egg. There is another strategy you can use when multiplying fractions, and I'm going to sh show you that strategy now. So we're going to do the same thing, multiply 1 and 3 fourths cups by 1 half. I'm going to change this fraction into a mixed number. To change it into a mixed number, you're going to multiply the whole number by the denominator and then add the numerator. So if we multiply 1 times 4, we have 4, plus 3 more is 7. And the denominator stays the same. Times 1 half. So another way you can multiply fractions is going straight across multiplying both the numerators and both the, the denominators. 7 times 1 equals 7, and 4 times 2 equals 8. So we're going to change 1 and 3 fourths cups of flour to 7 Using the same strategy, we're now going to multiply one half teaspoons of baking soda by one half again. Now we just multiply across. One times one equals one, and two times two equals four. One fourth. We just did that, one half times one half, we know it's going to be one fourth. In the last one, one cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So we have one whole, I know we can write one whole like this. And we're going to multiply it by one half. Multiplying across, one times one equals one. One times two equals two. So one times one half equals one half. So these are the two strategies I used. You may have used a different strategy, but stay tuned for the next video of me making these cookies.